Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'll be opening up the Japanese set Thunderclap Spark, also known as Jinrai Spark. So the set originally released in Japan on July 6, 2018, and it also features the lovely legendary Pokemon Zeraora, as you can see on screen. Now you may have guessed at this point that the set is considered half of Lost Thunder in English, with the other half being one of my personal favorite sets, Explosive Impact. And with that being said, this set is considered very small since it only has a total of 73 cards, including the secret rares. And in terms of chase cards, I'm definitely after that Zera or full art, as well as Jay, since it's one of his favorite Pokemon, as well as the Kahili full art trainer. And if you are a fan of full art trainers, you can also pull the Judge full art trainer from this set. So since I'll be opening up one booster box, we are definitely guaranteed to least one secret rare. So before we get started, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon content. Let's get started. Alrighty, so we have this beautiful, if anything, gorgeous box of Thunderclap Spark. As you may recognize, this is also on the pack art of Lost Thunder, just in a different artwork. And this is actually a request by Jay himself, because he's a big fan of Zero Aura. If you guys remember mentioning, um, or me mentioning during the Jet Black Poltergeist opening, since there's a really cool Zero Aura full art in that set. One thing I'm really looking forward to though is these packs. Oh my gosh, I love the blue on these. Contrasts really well with the Zero Aura artwork. I tried to get the Korean version, but uh... Someone let me down. Somehow the Japanese version was a lot easier to obtain, so I'll take it, you know what I mean? The quality is better, if anything. And we have the lovely Pikachu sleeves on the side, because I felt like those would match really well. Okay, so we have one to the front, five cards per pack. We have Poplio, I haven't seen Poplio in such a long time. Electabuzz, Durant, ooh, and Electivire. Very lovely artwork there, so no first pack magic, but lots of lovely electric type Pokemon. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite pack cards in terms of color. Like, I love blue, but this is next level awesome blue like purple and the logo looks really cool too and we have a lot of electric type trainer cards too Ooh, we have blitzel another electric type pokemon <gasps> and our first gx we have macargo shout out to my friend samantha chalk who's a big fan of macargo and i think it's also why she loves this set besides genocide she's a big fan of bug type and ghost type pokemon but i love the zero aura in the set too very unique kind of set actually and i believe zero aura is the only electric type full art you can get from the set but let's see what we get Typically, too, with Sun and Moon Japanese Pokemon booster boxes, you took. Oh! Wow! That there is we go! the chase card. Right wow! Here. That was literally my chase card. Smash the like button, guys. We got oh. Zera Aura. Also, the Japanese name, Zera Aura. Look at that! Wow! Already, the boxes are gone. <laughs> Already hit my goal. I was uh, totally okay, too, with pulling any of the trainers. Well, as we only don't need two. to open any more. I'm opening the rest because oh, I want okay. to. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was one of the earliest like uh, full art pulls or secret rare pulls. In, ja in Japanese sets, those are considered secret rares, SRs. Wow, I was like totally prepared to get the hollow or the uh, secret rare towards that we have a hollow here. Cobalion, which is very nice. I actually like the Cobalion more than the Sword and Shield one. I believe it was in Jet Black Poltergeist or uh, Silver Lance. Looks so nice on the Sun and Moon hollow foil. All right, wow, what was that? Oh, Jay right now is having a party in the back. He's so happy we pulled a Zero Aura. Wow, lucky, lucky pull. Good box. Especially since I actually don't see these a lot. We have Primarina, very nice card there. So yes, we have Lovely Cobalion, Macargo, and Zero Aura. What are the chances? But like I said too, this set is very small. So the fact that we got one of my chase cards right away, pretty amazing, but also not too surprising since it is a smaller set. That's usually my advice. If you're looking for a particular card, I do recommend opening the Japanese sets over the English sets because you're more likely to pull your chase card. Happened to be Zero Oro. I do prefer that over the rainbow. I did pull the rainbow in English back in the day when I did open English packs. But now we got the regular full art. Now we have to go after the Sword and Shield one for Jay. We have oh, to open yeah. more Jet Black Poltergeist. We Jet have Black Poltergeist. I love this Steelix art. That looks super cool. Oh yeah. And the trainer I was looking for is also in a uh, Kahili was also in that pack as the regular trainer card. So I noticed there's a lot of Steel type and Electric Pokemon. Oh, there's uh, the Coach or the uh, is there another name? Coach. There's another one. <gasps> oh, we have Ditto Prism Star. Very very nice. I I feel like I've pulled this so many times in different languages, but there we go. Thunderstorm outside. Yeah, thunderstorm. Oh, so fitting for Thunderclap Spark. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny because I remember one time there were fireworks happening and that was during like one of my Mazika party openings. Yeah. And I was like, this is kind of that, fitting because that, yeah. because we had Phenoburn, oh, yeah, which was... the fireworks for the party, the yeah. thunder for the Thunder Club Spark. Yeah, but Phenoburn, which is actually made out of fireworks, I was like, this oh. is actually kind of fitting. And we have Dust Ducks. Very cool. It's actually really nice opening this set. I haven't opened it before. And seeing all the lovely new artwork, it's definitely very refreshing. All right, so 
Yes, I think, I'm just thinking in my head, the name is Coach for that trainer art. Okay, we have, oh, lovely Lapras. I love the watercolor effect on that. Thank you for the Which English name, right? Yes, yes, exactly. And we have Tapu Bulu on the lovely sun and moon hollow art. All right. Hollow foil, actually. Because in Sword and Shield, you have the vertical pattern, but on the sun and moon, you have that really cool, like, misty looking pattern. All right, so we have more trainer cards. Oh, Brion, very nice artwork of Brion. Oh, we have the Sightseer. So she doesn't have a trainer card in this set that's in Tag Team All Stars, but really cool to see Sightseer. And you have Bear Tick as the last pack, I mean, card in the pack. Alrighty, but man, this pack card is so gorgeous. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, what's your favorite pack card in general? This has to be one of my top favorite, and I think that's also what drew Jay in because the pack art looks so cool. And we have a lovely Kecleon yeah, the and Tapu Coco. The eye, but right? Also, <laughs> Zero Aura is like, wow, that's a handsome. That's a, that's handsome. a handsome Pokemon. Are you going to give Zero Aura a name? Zero, am I going to give Zero Aura a name? That is a good question. I actually do not know at this time, but Cause, I'll get back to you on that. Because also, Zero Aura is a little bit of a mouthful compared to what you usually call Pokemon. Like, mm. <gasps> lovely Moltres. That should have been a holographic, in my opinion. That's a nice artwork. Right? And it's Kanto Moltres, not Galarian Moltres. Since this is in the Sun and Moon era, you're not going to see Galarian Moltres quite yet. One to the front, and we have our lovely Japanese card backings. Oh my goodness, you already pulled the Seeker Rare, like what, third pack magic or fourth and pack the magic? Chase card. And the Chase <gasps> Oh, this is one of my Chase holographics, the lovely Suicune. Ooh, I'm so happy to pull that one. So, yes, we have some legendary beasts and some legendary birds. We're not going to have all of them though in the set since it is very small, but you can pull a Suicune and a Moltres. I was hoping to pull that Suicune, so this is definitely my, my, my box today. I'm not going to say my Chase box, but it's just my box. All right, we have Litleo. Oh, and Dialga. I definitely am a big fan of these hollows. I'm putting my favorite Pokemon on like a particular pile because I definitely collect those on the side. Especially Suicune, Lugia, etc. The legendary birds as well. All right, so now we are on team left. But you know who won today? Team right won today. Oh, yeah. There is a chance, however, a very, very small chance that we could pull one more Seeker Rare. It's very, very rare though. And it can happen in the Sun and Moon era. But again, just like with Sword and Shield, very low chance of that happening. But let's see. You never know. I'd say with smaller sets like this, if you do land a double box, it's definitely a big plus because completing these sets, I'm sure, are a bit difficult. <laughs> Even if the sets are small, we have Electabuzz and another Primarina. I love how smooth these Japanese cards feel. But yes, I love opening new sets for the first time, and this is called SM7A, if you wanted to know. Uh, SM for Sun and Moon. It's the seventh set, or subset, really, because it has the A. We have Cascoon. And we have Tapu Bulu. Once again, you're gonna get some repeats because it's a small set. And of course, Kahili was in that pack as well. Kahili is one of the elite four of the Alola region, I believe. I think she has flying Pokemon. Kind of makes sense with the whole concept of golf, which is really cool. Okay, we have Pinsir, Litleo, and Victini. I like the Victini artwork in this set. Set by self, so I believe she also drew one of the, um, he or she drew the um, Espeon alt art from Eevee Heroes. Alrighty, we have Ultra Ball, Magirna. I feel like I've seen Magirna so much in hollow form from Legendary Heartbeat. And another Tapu Coco. You're gonna get a lot of Tapu since it's the Sun and Moon set. But I cannot get enough of this pack card. I'm definitely gonna keep it along with my Explosive or Burst Impact packed art because Lost Thunder was a very underrated set in my opinion. Okay, we have lovely Kecleon. We have Pyroar. Ooh, different uh, gender of Pyroar. Not the typical male. I think that's the female one. And we have Steelix as well. Steelix would have been a very cool holo, but then again, Steelix is featured plenty of times as a holographic card. I just like hollows on the steel type Pokemon because it emphasizes the fact that they're a steel type. Okay, next up we have Sheko. We have Cub Chu, not Cub Fu. The names are very similar. Sightseer. Oh, and Genesect on a very nice Japanese cardstock steel type. Steel and bug. So there we go. We got our third GX because we have one Seeker Rare and the Cargo. And I believe the th fourth GX in the set is Verizium. So very randomly assorted set, but still very nice, especially with the Zara Aura. Okay, there's the Judge or the Coach. I keep for some reason putting those two names together. Bruxish and Electivire. Lots of beautiful art in the set, uh, set. And if you're a big fan of Electra Pokemon, this is definitely one of them for you. I'm just surprised how well the Pikachu sleeves match the pack art. Because I was trying to find sleeves that actually match this, and that happened to be the, the best ones. Okay, we have Skiddo. Oh, and White Kirum. Very, very nice. I haven't seen that holographic for a very long time. So, originated from Lost, or not Lost Thunder. I keep calling it Lost Thunder. Thunderclap Spark, also known as Plasma Spark. This set has a couple of names, so you can, you know, pick and choose. 
We have a trainer card, I like the buzz. Pop Leo, I love the background of that, so happy. Go Goat and Dust Docks. Very lovely artwork. So yes, a lot of grass types slash bug types because you have Genesect and also Verizian and the ones I just mentioned. All right, we're already almost done with this box. It went by so quickly. We have Zepstrika. <gasps> Pachi Risu by Yukamori. I love the claymation. Okay, we have Kahili, Cascoon, and Moltres. Yeah, the Kahili, the Kahili art is very nice if you pull it in full art form. Definitely a good waifu trainer to get from this set. And I think we have four packs left. Let's see what else we can get. I think we might be due for one more GX, but we definitely got our guaranteed Prism Star and our guaranteed Seeker Rare. And there's another Cobalion, another Steel type, as mentioned before. But yes, the other legendary, one of the, the beasts from that trilogy, you can also get Verizian. So maybe we'll see if we can get the GX. Okay, we got Energy Switch, we got Wormpole. Oh my gosh, another Yukimori art, Alolan Duck Trio, Cub Chu, and Primarina. I always notice stacking the same types in specific packs. Like the other pack had two grass types, this one had two water types. Very interesting. Alrighty, second to last pack. Let's see if we can get anything else. Maybe just some hollows, but we'll see. Skiddo, Kecleon. I, I feel like Dr. Uyama's made so many Kecleon art. And our fourth GX, which is another Zero Aura. Very nice. Hit the like button for all the Zero Auras we're pulling in I this like video. That quite a lot, you know. It's very, very it's nice Zero Aura. Nice. So no Verizian in this video, but it's okay. Last pack. Let's see what we get. Last pack. Last pack. Last I'm going to get some last pack magic. One to the front here. Alrighty, so we have another energy switch. I feel like everything's energy switch. <laughs> we have Sightseer, Slugma, Blitzel. Oh, and a Heatron holographic. Very, very lovely. That was an awesome opening. So that was a really fun box. You really definitely awesome. got our chase. If you guys missed it, please make, be sure to check out earlier in the video to see what we pulled. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon openings. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.